Hey folks, in this video I am going to show you how to assemble the components to make a fractal wood burner from recycled microwave parts. Everything you see on this side of the transformer is from the microwave. This is the appliance cord, this is the fuse holder, and the transformer. On this side I'll explain in just a minute. So what I did on this side was I put one leg of the power supply through a 14 amp bus fuse before it goes into the transformer. The reason I did that was just for safety. If something happens, 14 amp fuse will blow. This cable is rated for 20 amps. What typical house circuits are rated for is 20 amps. So I went with a 14 amp bus fuse just in case. Um, on this side of the transformer, we have, this is a low voltage output that I wire nutted and isolated. This is your primary coil from your input. And up here is your high voltage output that goes to the magnetron of the microwave. So what I did was on this side, I have the hot and neutral and the ground to the frame of the transformer. On this side, if you look at the windings, we have the hot side here coming off the secondary coil of the transformer and the other side of it is grounded to the frame of the transformer which is connected to the ground of the electrical circuit. What I used on the output side here was two pieces of 10 gauge wire. The reason why I use 10 gauge wire is because it is rated for 2000 volts and 6000 watts. This transformer here, although it might put out 10,000 volts, the amperage is only like half an amp because in order to step down, in order to step up your voltage, you step down your amps. So you're stepping up your voltage from 120 volts to 10,000 volts. Your amperage goes from say 20 amps max to half an amp max. So 10 gauge wire is sufficient. I've seen videos where guys use uh, number six, number four wire, which is the thick cables, which is fine. But all this stuff was assembled from things I had laying around the garage. Again, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Do not try this at home. The way I attached the output wires to a recycled set of jumper cables was simply I riveted the wire to the clamp. And, um... As you can see here, it worked. There are other videos that show uh, slow motion burnings using this transformer here. I control the transformer by plugging it into this box. This receptacle is controlled by the switch, which then in turn gets plugged into a receptacle of 120 volts. Like and subscribe if you have any questions. Please leave them in the comments and I will answer them for you. Thank you.